All right, so the shenanigans this week is this is this is dry now. This has been five days, seven days. It's been seven days. We poured it last Saturday, and uh, we are going to now demold this thing and then take it over there to the slab miser and flatten it. It's a very simple process. So now what we got here is like a fake router sled on steroids. This is called the Slab Miser, made by Wood Miser. And uh, basically, it's just a big three horsepower motor on this bad boy and if you look under here blades i don't know if you can see that or not but it's just five carbide blades and a little five inch diameter disc or shaft or whatever and uh it's made for flattening big tabletops and slabs just like this makes everything all pretty a lot of people go how do you do it how do you do your tables it's my tools it's not me just a little bit of creativity and can go a long way but that those machines are are where it's at <laughs> perfect so now we will start the finishing process and the sanding process on here. We have to go back and fill up a little bit of holes with some epoxy. We've got a little bit of epoxy work, some Starbond work that we gotta go to. And then we'll start the sanding process. So with this, we're gonna start off with 100, then we're gonna do 120, 150, 180, 220, and 320. Then we'll start the oiling process on this. I like how we got some epoxy over here off to the sides for the side deals and then uh we're gonna cut a straight edge right on this one so we'll just have a little bit of epoxy over on this side these figures are gonna be popped out whenever we do the 320 sand to 320 they're gonna look like little mountain ranges so very excited about this table and then those also these legs that we were showing earlier excited about those new ones as well <clears throat> now that we got it all surfaced. Usually I take Starbond epoxy and I'll fill up little holes, but this, this hole's a little bit too big for Starbond epoxy. And then you got another one right down in here. So Chemtech has a fast curing epoxy that we will set and put it in and we'll wait overnight. So I'm gonna pour this stuff in and let it cure overnight and it'll be good for, it'll end up being good for, uh, tomorrow let me try and there we go i don't need very much so i want to be very careful with what i'm doing here there we go just like that so now we got the holes filled in like i said i'm gonna wait overnight we're not going to do too much with this table anyways because let me show you guys. We had a blizzard come in last night. And uh, it's negative two degrees out right now. So I'm just going to call it a snow day. And that'll be good timing to let that settle in and cure. And then we'll work on that tomorrow. Day and everything's dry the epoxy is dry now so we are going to now sand this to 320 we're going to do 100 120 150 180 220 then 320 and on the bottom this is the top this is what we're going to do for the top on the bottom we'll sand to 220 and then we'll start the finishing process
Now this is Starbond epoxy. The main holes of the epoxy cleared up and that's gonna look really nice and that will all match. So now it's time for the little, the little tiny stuff like this. So this is called Starbond. And what it is, it's a CA glue. And this is an accelerator to help dry it. You pour it in little holes like this. Fill them up. And with the accelerator, spray a little bit, let it cure, and then sand. And then we will do that with the whole table. We'll go through the whole table, fill all the little tiny microscopic holes, and then re-sand it down for that good quality finish that we're looking for. Now we got everything sanded to 100 grit, I'm going to now shape everything. So we're going to cut all four sides off, square it up, and then we're going to turn it back over and then do the holes for the legs. So what I do on all my builds is I like to leave a little bit of epoxy on the side here. So um, I knew that this finished product was going to be 42 inches. So I did 43 in the mold to get a good, good wide gap here on my last cut. So this last cut's going to be three quarters in. And that way it's going to take out majority of all this epoxy. I, didn't, I don't want all that epoxy. I just want a little bit of it on, on the table and then cut it off right there. So... That was the purpose with that. And I always leave my molds an inch wider than the actual table size to give my room to cut and finish the uh, table length. Now we're drilling all these holes in these legs. These are the legs that I was talking about earlier and I'm just drilling the, drilling the holes for these things. All right, now it's time for the threaded inserts. What I do is I get the easy lock, is what it's called. And I do the, uh, the quarter dash 20. And easy lock comes with its own little bit here. And what we do on each one of these is we just put a small thing. I always use tight bond three, just cause I like it. I like tight bond three and I just put a little just a little bit, that's all you need, right there. And then, just like that. And it gives a nice, clean, fresh look, and it makes, it, uh, we'll get the bolts in and out very easily with the legs.
Now we're back up to the top. We flipped over. The bottom's done. We got the brass in there. It's ready for the legs. The hard part's over. Now at the top, we're going to finish rounding over the edges on the top, and then we're going to sand from 100 to 320. Then we'll start the oiling process. Right, so now I like to number my tables and this one's gonna be this one's gonna be uh, number nine. That'll be number nine and then we're gonna we are going to oh let me uh twenty twenty one And then we're gonna brand, um, that's gonna be right where the legs are. So we're hiding that, right over there. I like to, I like to number my tables and hide them under the legs, like that. And then we're gonna do our old log and sawmill brand right there. And I always like to cut my beams and I always like to make my beams rustic. So what we'll do is we'll cut this. This has just been milled and sitting out. And uh, I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna just sand it to a, to a light 100. I still wanna keep the saw marks and the roughness of it. And then we'll do a oil. So now we'll sand all that down and we'll oil it. We'll be good. All right, Jake's getting ready to do the first coat of oil on the beam. And so what we did was, like I was saying, we just sanded it. We still see all the saw marks. Did a light sand at 100. And uh, we're going to do his first coat on there. And I'm going to put my little handcrafted by Jake Light Ball on the beam. I've done it on every beam uh, so far on every table. And uh, we'll need to change that. And then that oil just darkens it right up. You see how it's kind of like a purplish tint? And that oil will, will rich in that color. That's gonna look good. Where's the logo? Right there. Yeah. There we go, that's nice. So we're gonna try and flip this over onto that. And then Jacob here is gonna try and center all that whenever we do it. So let's uh let's prop this. This is gonna take all three of us to do it. Let's uh move this stuff here.
All right, you guys ready for this? Yeah, it's gonna be a little heavy. Guaranteed. Hopefully, hopefully this goes smooth. Ooh, look at that. I can do some pretty cool like camera shots doing that with this rolling thing. Anyways, all right. You guys ready? No. So I guess we'll it back this way. And then let's work it out. Well, let's lift it up. Jake, balance until I come around. The other side. All right. You got it? Yep. You got it? Okay, Jake, you just tell us what to do. All right, start lowering. Get these. Are we both center on the beam? Are we good? Uh, yeah. Oh, right here. Just let me know if you need me to lift it. Here, lift it up just a little bit. No, I got it. Just really? Yeah. All right. Jake, lift your end up. Like that. How cool is that, huh? That looks so cool, man. How? I really like that. All right, so Spencer, my photographer, is on his way. So I'm gonna do one last coat of liquid wax cleaner to get that nice little sheen before he starts taking pictures. So far, Everything looks really great. We got a good sheen that we want. The legs turned out really well. And then we'll get ready for pictures. Well, that wraps up this project. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, for watching these videos, and uh, stay tuned for next week. Next week, we're working on um, this table right here. It's going to be a circular table, and we're going to have a little CNC action in the middle of this one, so stay tuned for that. And again, thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.